Chris here once again from Friendly Frenzy Games, back with another full room puzzle walkthrough in Escape Simulator. This extras room is called 70s Room. As always, if this video helps you, subscribe to Friendly Frenzy Games for more Escape Simulator guides. So as you can see, we're in a very cool 70s room here. Got some funky music, got the typical orange and brown colors of the 70s with some funky neon here. Another half an hour room, which is awesome. This one, I don't really feel like you need probably even 15 minutes. A lot of the puzzles are pretty easy to solve for the most part. There is a little bit of math, so maybe that's why they give you some time, but there aren't a whole lot of puzzles in this room. Um, but they are relatively cool anyways. A good combination, again, of some block and combination and logic puzzles. Best place to start in this room would be the lava lamps. So as you can see here, just under the TV, we have our, our lava lamp combination lock here. Looks to be that we're going to get our first number from our largest lava lamp, second number from the smallest lava lamp, and then third from our second biggest here. So where these three are, here's our smallest one is the red one on the desk. Behind us, we have our largest being the green and our second largest being the blue. As you can see, the longer these run, they're going to spit out a number. This one is six. You can kind of see it there, and then it's going to go away. We're going to wait for our blue one to turn its number out. You can see here it pokes into a five. The red one, you got to remember to plug it in, otherwise it's not actually going to do anything for you. You can see nothing's moving. It's not actually on. Once you plug it in, you can see it lights up a little bit and starts moving around. And as we wait here, it'll spit out our number. Got to give it a couple of seconds here, and you can see we get our three. So for our lava lamp comp combination here, we have six from the largest one, three from our smallest one, and then five from our one in the middle. So that'll pop that lock. We have a few darts in here. So we'll go ahead and pick them up. Collect the one from this um, empty drawer here, and then we have to open the cupboard here to get our last one, but that's for a puzzle later. We have um, some notes in here for a calculator, which we'll use in a second. But what we're trying to com collect in this room to be able to escape, or what's going to unlock our final puzzle anyways, is these cassettes. So in unlocking these puzzles, we're getting cassettes, and we're going to just plug them into this tape deck over here. So you can see there's four compartments. Obviously we're looking to complete or collect at least four cassettes. So we've got our first one here. The next puzzle that we can go ahead onto, we will tackle the darts since that's what we got. So with those notes there, it mentions about the calculator going into secret mode. What we need to do is enter, well we first need to solve what this number is and then enter the actual sequence in and it'll compute these equal signs. But we do have to make sure we hit equal sign to make it compute. So where we get the calculator is actually just up at the top here in this kitchen part and it's going to be in the last drawer underneath our um, musical lock here. So open up the last drawer, we'll snag the calculator out of there and we can give this a quick look. Just your typical calculator pull the notes up again for now and we can just pin them to make it a little easier. So our first sequence is we have three plus something equals 11. So obviously this number, pretty simple to figure out, we'll add um, three plus eight. So type three plus eight into the calculator and then as it mentions here, after we put the sequence in, press N equals at the end of each. So three plus eight, we'll hit equals and then you'll see it computes the 11 and turns our first light on. This one here, a little bit uh, more complex, but still not too, too bad. So we have something here times two minus four to give us 62. Um, obviously, if we do 33 here, 33 times two is 66, minus four is 62. So we can go ahead and plug that in. 33 times two minus four, hit equals, and we get our 62, and our second light is on. This one here, you basically have to reverse engineer. If you do 123 times 56, you'll get 6888. So obviously if we do 6888 um, divided by 123, we'll get 56. So we'll type that in here, 6888 divided by 123 equals our 56 and third number. So we can unpin this, just get rid of this here. I'm gonna just chuck these guys in the garbage since we're done with those. Actually, we need the calculator just really quickly to show you. So you can see here, what this actually did is compute the blue dart score. 
So that's important because if we go downstairs here, we see there's a dartboard here, and it also says yellow beat me by 10. So we know blue score is 97. If yellow beat blue, and we know it's those two colors only just based on the darts that we've collected, um, yellow beat blue by 10, we know we have to place darts on this dartboard yellow with a score of 107 and blue with a score of 97. So there's probably a couple of different ways that you can do it on this board here. The quickest way that I was able to find, again, not necessarily the quickest, but what I was able to kind of figure out and noting this, do um, this diagram here, the outer ring is times two. Anything um, is gonna be times two of this number here. Um, the inner ring here is times three of that same number in this quadrant. And then anything, if it was a white on the inside, it's just gonna be a single of that. So if you don't really know darts, which I mean, me personally, I don't really, this definitely helped. I don't know if I would have ever got this puzzle, but what we can go through and do then is we can place our blue to get our 97 first. So I just put mine in the inner ring here of 20. So essentially three times 20 is gonna give us our 60. And then I did another 20 to give us 80. And then I did our last one in 17 here. It can be the inside or it can be this middle one here. But we're going to get our 97 and you can see that the dartboard lowers a little bit to let us know that we have our blue right. Now what we need again, because yellow won by 10, we have to get a score of 107. So I put mine right in the middle for yellow. You can see here that a 50 is a bullseye. Um, our last one here, I just put the 19 times 3. 19 times 3 is 27, plus our 50 is, um, sorry I screwed that up, but the math works. <laughs> do the do triple of the 19 plus your um, 50 and that'll give you 107. And you can see that we get our cherry cassette here. So we can turn around and plug that into the machine. And we are all good with those two. The next puzzle again is up at the top of the stairs here. I'm just going to chuck these things out now that we're done with them. Um, the next one here is just under the sink. There is a cookie squares box. Pick it up and inspect it. And it's going to give you um, a key here. So this is going to relate to the phone in behind us, this rotary phone here. We're going to use this clue. We're going to use this phone and this clue also to help us solve this puzzle. So really what we're trying to do is this is basically our answer key here. We're going to use, we're going to relate these squares to the back of this box. So you can see our first C or our first kind of square on this is up in our top right corner. And you can see the top right corner here aligns with C and then our other square is kind of in the middle here. So that's how you know what letter you're looking for. So we'll go top here and in the top right corner. So C. Our next one here is a middle square and another middle square. So you can see here obviously the middle square and then middle square would mean that it's an A. Um, up here we have our larger square in the top left and then our other um, smaller square in the top right. So that's going to go down to the L. And we basically have two of those if you can see here. So the large square and then smaller square, large square, smaller square. So that's going to mean that it's two L's in line with this grid here. Now we have a top right and top right. And as you can see here we have top right top right which gives us an M and then we have a lower right and basically a middle so here's our lower right here's our middle you can see that it comes across to an E so essentially what we're spelling in this rotary phone is call me and how we get that is clicking on the two holding it and dragging it down to the pin so two two for C and A and then we have for the LL we hit five and five and then for our m we hit six and for our e we hit three drag it to the pin and that'll unlock our phone cassette in the corner here we'll go ahead and plug this into the tape deck and now our last one is the television puzzle so we have to make sure that we plug the television in as well actually this isn't our last one but we can um 
what we have to do first actually is this directional lock. So as you can see here, we've got flowers on our left side and then a few other symbols up at the top. What you're looking to do is find which flower matches which symbol. And you can follow the lines on the rug here and that'll kind of give you the solution to this puzzle here. So the flowers that we're looking for are primarily all under some sort of objects. Obviously the first purple one that we had on our lock was under the roller skates here. So if you follow this along, obviously the purple flower in the floor, you follow this along to under the table and it is the rainbow peace sign. So we'll go ahead and what this looks like in the lock is just again kind of grid style. So the purple flower and the peace sign is our first button here. We'll solve now for the green flower. You can see that it's just on the table underneath here. If you were to follow this, assume that it connects to the peace sign here. We can go ahead and plug that in so our green flower connects to the peace sign. Now we have a gray flower and that gray flower is actually just under the plant and um, the table here. So the gray flower, if you follow that along in the rug, it leads to underneath the lamp is the heart. So we'll plug the gray flower and the heart into this um, lock here. And now our last one is the orange flower. We have kind of an orangey red flower right in front of us, but you can tell that's not the right shape. This one's a little bit rounder here. So find the right one on the floor. You can see that it's just right here beside us. And if you circle it around, it goes right to the dove. So we can plug that in. Orange flower and the dove is going to be our third one. And it pops that lock here. I'm going to throw these guys onto the couch. We get um, a few vinyl records here. So four vinyl records. We need these to solve that music lock that we pointed out earlier. So you can see here, it's got a uh, direction on it from cheapest to expensive. And that's what's gonna give us the order of our numbers here. To actually get our numbers, we're looking for the digits that the hands give us on each of these records. So you can see this one's 599. Um, this one here is 499, so obviously this one would come before our first one. So we're just trying to figure out, first of all, which record we're starting with. So we have a 599, we have a 499, we have a 449, and a 649. So our 449 is the one we're gonna start with. Obviously we can see here the hand is giving us a digit of five. Our second cheapest one is 499. The hand is giving us one. We said our third cheapest is 599 and it's two. And then our fourth cheapest or most expensive is 649 and we can see a digit here of four. So our law combination for this one is gonna be five, one, two, and four. Drag that in and it pops that lock. We can open the drawer here and we see that we get a burst out game cartridge. Bring it downstairs and plug it into this here. So we can plug it into the system. We've plugged our TV in. But we have to actually turn the TV on by just hitting the dial. And you can see we've essentially unlocked Pong. Sorry, I'm gonna hopefully get through this relatively quickly, but you have to clear all of the squares in this game to actually be able to escape. I was hoping that all you had to do was kind of blow through one um, quick entry point here, but you do have to clear all of the squares. Um, I'm not a professional Pong player, so it definitely took me a little while the first time, so we'll see if we can kind of clean it up here a bit. I was hoping to be done already, but as you can see, it's not gonna happen. But we will see here, so bear with, oh, bear with me for a sec. I didn't drop that ball, which is nice. You don't lose anything, I don't think. It, by the top um, corner there, you have three balls, but I can't imagine this thing's gonna fail you if you don't clear it. Try and get this corner piece, and now we just have to get these last two. See how this goes here. So we got that one, okay. See if I can. Nope. Nope. There we go. Perfect. So now you can see on the bottom here that the console compartment has opened. If you look back in the machine, we have our last cassette. We'll plug this in, and you can see that the lights have changed here, and all of a sudden the disco ball is shining a spotlight on a few things. So our combination here has a bunch of symbols, everything that's included in this room. What we're looking to do to solve this puzzle is really figure out what the disco light is shining onto. There's no particular order here, we just have to make sure that everything that it's lighting up, we tackle in that uh, 
lock there. So standing up top here, you can see, we'll wait for the light to come back around here. But you'll see that the light shines on the phone. It shines something on this sign. It's either gonna be our drink glass or our cherries. So just to confirm. So we see it shooting on the cherries, then it hits the clock, hits the dartboard, it goes back to the clock and the dartboard. The repeat doesn't really seem to matter. We just have to make sure, as I said before, that we're getting the right um, pictures here. So we know that it starts with the um, phone and then we said it lights up the cherries and then it lights up the clock and then it lights up the dartboard. Again, the order doesn't matter. The repeat doesn't matter. As long as you get those four symbols, you're more than good. It gives us our door key here and we're escaping through the door that's up at the top of the kitchen. So you can see as soon as we plug that in, we've completed the room. It took us about 15 minutes, but again, in these I typically tend to talk a lot longer than is necessary, but I just want to make sure that I'm doing these puzzles justice and explaining as much as what I understand of these to be. Again, if this video helped you at all, as mentioned at the beginning of this video, your support truly does go a long way. If you've made it this far, hopefully you've liked what you've seen and heard. Drop a comment, give us a like, and subscribe to Friendly Frenzy Games for more guides, tips, and tricks.